Welcome to Pilgrim Lanes in Haverhill, Massachusetts, where we are at the finals of this Pro Series Elimination Tournament, which is a, uh, it's a new format for the Pro Series this year uh, in this particular event. I'll explain how it worked a little later, but we're going to see in the finals the two guys that are remaining, Brian Kroll on lane six and Sean Baker on lane five. And Brian starts out with a, a nice ball in the 1-3 pocket, but he leaves the leaves a pretty ugly split there. That's five, six, seven, and ten with no wood. Meanwhile, Sean Baker also drops six, but he has a much more makeable spare leave. And wow, that is an amazing shot right there by Brian Kroll. Let's go right to the replay on this. He takes it out. He goes to the left side of the six pin, kicks it into the 10, and the six comes off the wall. And you can see it takes out the five and the seven. That's just an unbelievable shot right there. <laughs> that had, I, you could shoot that one all day and not make it. I don't know if I've seen it go before w with no wood. And even Sean Baker is uh, pretty, pretty incredulous. And Sean takes a 10. Brian Kroll will try and fill in that spare. Brian qualified for the, uh, the elimination rounds by throwing a 679 in the five string qualifying round. Meanwhile, Sean Baker qualified with 661. And the way this tournament worked, there were 104 bowlers in the event. And after the five string qualifying round, the field was cut to the top 32. And this is where the the new format comes in. Instead of doing head-to-head -head match play, and there's a, a spare by, another spare by Brian Kroll. Instead of head-to-head -head match play, uh, the entire 32 bowler field bowled one string and the top half advanced. So they kept cutting it down from 32 to 16 to 8 to 4 to 2 and the two bowlers remaining are uh, Sean and Brian and they both have spares in the second. A couple of good shots there as you can see on the, uh, the replay. Brian drops Seven, it's going to be. So he's got 34 after two. Sean Baker with 20 plus a ball. Let's see what he can put on that spare that he had. He goes, punches through the middle and takes out five, leaving a big five. Two, three, four, six, ten. Meanwhile, Brian Kroll with the four, seven, ten. He's got a plank in front of the four, seven, and another piece of wood kind of parallel to the lane over by the ten pin. And let's see what he decides to do with this and you can see he was just trying to clip that wood on the right and send it over into the 4-7 and he almost got it but didn't quite touch the wood and just took out the 10 pin the other option would have gone to been to go left and maybe to hope that the ball might bounce out of the pit which is something that happens pretty frequently at least today with the lively sidewalls we had a lot of balls bouncing around in any case it's a 10 box for uh, Brian Kroll and also a 10 box for Sean Baker so Brian is leading 44 to 35 after three and then he drops nine as you can see leaving the five pin Sean Baker drops eight after a fashion leaving the three five. Brian Kroll wants to just go straight at that five pin. Piece of wood behind it, but I don't think it's frozen. So he goes right on the five and he's got his third spare in four boxes. Off to a good start. And Sean Baker also with a spare. I might mention some of the other top qualifiers in this event. Chris Bover had a seven 03, Dave Barber with a 693, Dave Richards 684, Jeff Surrett 663, 
there were really some uh, some pretty good scores posted in this event in the uh, in qualifying and and in the the uh, elimination rounds and there's a, a five drop by Brian Kroll on the spare and a four they both punch through the middle we have quite a bit of footage of the earlier elimination rounds and those will will go up later in the week give you an idea of how this tournament format worked it was uh, as I say it was new for the Pro Series and, and Sean Baker almost converts that spread eagle but this was a, a new format and, a, and uh, I'd say a, a successful one so Brian Kroll with a seven box he's got 66 through five Sean Baker 59 and they will switch sides. Baker will go over to lane six and Kroll will move over to lane five. Brian Kroll is a name that's probably familiar to bowling fans of a certain age because his family used to own the Kroll Bowl in Stowe, Massachusetts, which had a, a long history of uh, tournament uh, hosting tournaments and they used to host the state tournament youth events and uh, they were in business for quite a long time and and uh, they were actually open until I believe it was 2007 it was a nice place to bowl Sean Baker with a spare picking that seven pin Ryan Kroll looking at the three six no wood he'll just have to go right at it and he does he's got it that is his fourth spare as against three for Sean Baker so Sean doesn't want to let let Brian get away from him this is an important fill ball right here and he misses the head pin to the left but gets six leaving a one three eight nine and Brian Crow with just four He's got 80 through 6 to 70, uh, 73 for Sean Baker. Or 75, excuse me. It's a 5 pin lead. Sean misses the head pin again. Brian Kroll working on this 4 drop. And the 5 is wiggling. And that pin that comes off the wall takes it out. And uh, Sean Baker takes an 8 for 83. Take another look at this spare. We won't slow it down as much as we usually do. Uh, the 5 is, is already rocking. And then this pin comes off the wall and, and just nudges it enough to knock it over. So that's uh, another spare giving uh, Brian Kroll a lead of seven pins plus whatever he gets on the fill ball. He's got 90 plus a ball to 83 after seven for Sean Baker. And Brian misses the head pin, just gets five. So he's got 95. So he's up by 12 as we come into the eighth frame. Sean Baker working on that triangle and he's got it, that four, seven, eight triangle, nice shot. Brian Kroll looking for three spares in a row. A little too much of the head pin. He punched it straight back. So he'll be... That's going to tighten it up because he'll be open against the spare by Sean Baker. So Sean Baker has already picked up one pin because of the nine box by Brian Kroll. Brian has 104 and Sean Baker with 93 plus a ball and Sean adds seven so it's just a four pin lead through uh, through eight boxes for Brian Kroll 104 to 100 and he misses the head pin just takes out one punches that two pin out of the full rack so this is uh, this is a close one Sean Baker tried to cut that three pin over into the four but just went by it and took out the six 
And Brian Kroll with a spare. He uh, he just pounds that left side of the head pin. Let's let's look at uh, look at it in slow motion. Essentially, he throws a strike with his second ball and you know, makes up for that one drop in a hurry with a very very important spare. That gives him 114 with a ball through nine, and uh, Sean Baker with a nine box has 109. So. Brian Kroll's lead is five plus whatever he gets on his first ball in the tenth. Five pin lead plus the, the fill. Sean Baker really needs a mark here and he's got... Is the ten gonna go? No, it doesn't go. And, and that, that, that was, would have been really key for uh, Sean to get that strike there and maybe uh, uh, giving him a shot at maybe getting a double. That's a seven drop by Brian Kroll and that gives him a 12 pin lead. So that's why that that uh, 10 pin staying up by Sean Baker was so important because uh, now he's down by 12 and you know if he had been able to get a double he would uh, still well it's as soon as I say that it's not over yet. Brian Kroll still needs two pins to shut out Sean Baker because he's got 121 and Sean Baker could still shoot 129 if he fills the spare with a strike but there you go there you have it Brian Kroll takes out those last two that he needed for a nine box and a 130 so he has won this title because the best Sean Baker could do is 129 so Brian will take home the 1100 bucks for the uh winning the first event of the year in the in the Open Pro Series and this singles elimination tournament. And you can see the score is 130 for Brian Kroll and 124 for Sean Baker. Great bowling by both guys all day and really successful event here. Brian Kroll picks up his first win on the Pro Series here at Pilgrim Lanes.